The pristine beaches and crystal clear waters of the Caribbean may be unrivaled the world over. Nearly 4 million people a year travel from the U.S. to Cancun for vacation each year. Another 2 million from other countries, including Europe and Canada. But all of that is now under threat from the newest manifestation of a changing planet, seaweed. It is the biggest algae bloom in the world. Massive waves of seaweed called sargassum washing up on shore day after day. This beach was just cleaned today. Yes, a couple of hours and the seaweed will be on the beach again. Jose Escalante has owned a small hotel in Tulum, Mexico for eight years. Every day, workers here and up and down the Yucatan Peninsula remove tons and tons of decomposing sargassum from beaches. Every night, it comes back. Rosa Rodriguez Martinez from Mexico's National University is trying to figure out why. We are getting sargassum almost from March to October. So basically more than half of the year we receive massive amounts. Whereas before it was how long? Before maybe two or three weeks during the summer. That's a huge difference. Yes, it's impressive. Uh, impressive is one word for it. A, a problem, big problem is another. It's a problem, a economical problem, ecological, and probably human health problem also. Since 2011, the amount of sargassum in the Atlantic has increased dramatically. It currently forms a 5,000 mile mass from Africa to the Caribbean. It is estimated to weigh 22 million tons. Why is it so bad right now? I think it's because we have polluted the sea too much. So now we have a lot of nutrients and the algae are taking advantage of it. Fertilizer runoff from Brazil, increased by deforestation, is believed to be the largest fuel source for the sargassum. That, combined with warming ocean water and changing ocean currents, has put the Yucatan squarely in the crosshairs. It has gotten so bad, the Mexican Navy has just been put in charge of dealing with this problem. They took us up on a reconnaissance mission to locate the largest sargassum waves. We're fully aware that we're only addressing the effects of sargassum. Rear Admiral Enrique Flores Morado told us the Navy will build new sargassum busting ships to reel in as much as they can. But that does not solve any problem. In reality, the causes have to be addressed. But given the lack of research, we're now implementing immediate actions. Right now, many towns and resort owners are using floating barriers to corral and collect sargassum, including in Puerto Morelos, half an hour south of Cancun. We can say for sure that we are the first destination in the whole Mexican Caribbean with already a control above the sargassum. There's a lot of it, though. Yeah, yeah, because this area, we are... It doesn't look controlled. No, no, no. Hector Tamayo is in charge of tourism here. How many trucks go in and out each day? It's more than 50. More than 50 trucks, yeah. just of sargassum every yeah. day, carted in and out yeah. here. And then we just start mixing that with the sargasso. Some are developing novel ways to use sargassum, including Omar Vasquez, who's building homes with it. They're better than the other bricks. The sargassum is mixed with clay and compost by foot and then compressed into bricks. I mean, it's ironic because I grew up without a house, without a home. Uh, we crossed the border to the States when I was eight years old. And then came back. I came back to live my Mexican dream. Your Mexican dream? Yes. It doesn't have not even a gram of cement. Everything is organic. Even though Vasquez says his homes are 100% organic, there may be an issue with what accumulates in the sargassum at sea. We took it fresh. Rosa Rodriguez's latest research shows sargassum is high in heavy metals like lead and arsenic. And disposal is a major issue. This is one of the places we found where the sargassum is taken. It's a dump site miles into the jungle, far away from the ocean. It's unclear if the sargassum left here seeps into the ground, goes up into the air, or just sits here forever. Sargassum is either being dumped inland or buried under the beach, which is illegal. It is a crisis stretching across the Caribbean with no end in sight. For folks watching this who may not be familiar with this problem or what's happening here, what do you say? It's something that is happening to the world, not, not just to the region. This is just a consequence of the entire planet being, you know, in, in trouble. 
Could, could we see this washing ashore in Florida, South Carolina, Georgia? I potentially, mean, yeah. I mean, the, it's worse in the Yucatan right now and some other islands in the Caribbean. But yeah, potentially, if it increases. You go into this area for years, and you just watch it get slowly worse and worse every year. And just frightening that they try to dispose of it, but as you were showing it in the piece, I was thinking, but if it seeps into the groundwater, if it goes into the air, you're still not getting rid of it. Nobody knows what to do with it right now, really. And it continues. Wow. Yeah. Eye-opening. Really, Thanks, really Jeff. good report, Thanks. Jeff. Thank you.